Hello friends, this is Shelly from Koala Knits and Knacks. Thank you for clicking on this video. Um, we are going to make this adorable little baby um, cuddle bunny lovey. And it's just the cutest little thing, fits in the palm of your hands. <laughs> um, uh, I am going to use my Addy 22 needle machine. I've got Bernat Super Value yarn in white and um, the blue and green and gray variegated yarn is from Craft Smart. Um, but this takes very little yarn. So you just use whatever yarn you have um, and follow along in the tutorial and, and, uh, and just create one of your own. It's just so, so very adorable. I also have the um, big cuddle bunny lovies on my channel so look for that as well and shout out to Lorraine for the inspiration on the small bunny I give her a bigger shout out at the end of the video so make sure you're watching um, to the end and uh, and remember to hit that thumbs up all right my friends okay so if you have your your machine and your yarn ready let's uh, begin with the inside head okay so we're going to um, bring our last white and our first black needle and yarn in line with our yarn feeder here yarn guide we're going to go behind that first black needle with our working yarn the same color that you're the main color that you're going to use for your body is what you're going to use here um, no waste yarn needed we're going to go behind that first black in front of the next behind and in front all the way around okay just like this Till we get to the last white needle and it should be in front of that last white needle like that open your yarn feeder put your yarn in reset your counter make sure that first one is down over those two little red teeth and we're going to knit 10 rows okay A simple 10 rows with our first color this is the inside head that we're going to cinch both ends and we're going to stuff okay we'll do a long tail cast off once we've completed 10 rows that's seven eight nine and ten okay so i see that black divider coming around i mark that with a permanent marker so i know when it's coming around and when the end of my row is nearing me and then i'm going to Find my scissors here that went on a little journey. There they are. Okay, you're gonna cut off a long tail. And we're going to do a long tail cast off. So you're gonna grab your needle. You're gonna open the latch. Make sure that that yarn goes behind that uh, last white needle because we still have to work that one as we, um, as we begin the cast off process here. Okay, close that little latch so the needles don't uh, nick it. Okay, so we're gonna crank our handle Take off that first stitch, the second. If you have an exposed stitch like this, meaning that the, the needle has gone down already, when you're taking this one off, you risk this one falling off. And if that falls off those red teeth, that's how you get a dropped row. So you can put your finger over that as you're taking this one off. Let me just show you in the next, in the next one. So if I've got two of them exposed here and I'm taking this one off, I'm gonna put my finger on there and take it off that way if I'm a beginner and I'm not um, familiar with the tension. If I haven't figured out what tension I need to use, um, then that's that's a good idea to do, okay? And we're gonna keep going around. Once we've got a little bit of slack on, on this edge here, then we're gonna keep going around and we're gonna remove them all, okay? So go ahead around the barrel and remove all your stitches and I'll see you back. Okay, we have that piece removed from our machine. We're going to give it a little stretch so small but we're going to stretch it out and then we're going to set it aside and we're going to work on our body okay so what you're going to do is you're going to first of all before we get going on the body you want to cut off a long piece of string that will if you if you wrap it around your barrel twice or go ac across four times even and that's enough sometimes it's hard to measure it around so i just go like this four times really it's all i do and it's always more than i need cut that off because we're going to use that to cinch the uh the head when we get to that part part but we're going to take our working yarn um, the same color that we want our main body, body to be we're going to bring our last white and our first black needle in line with our yarn feeder there we're going to go behind that first black we're going to do a long tail cast on just like we did with the inside part of the head okay it's going to end up in front of that last white needle into your yarn feeder reset your row counter to zero okay and we're going to knit 10 rows. There we go. 
So go ahead and knit 10 rows and I'll see you back. Okay, so I've done my 10 rows. I'm going to open my yarn feeder. I'm going to take that yarn out, make sure it's behind that, um, that last white one. And I don't know if that's going to fit in there, but I'm going to throw my yarn ball in there. <laughs> if it doesn't fit in there, then you got to figure out another way. But that's, um, I'm going to just do it that way, okay? Didn't realize how big it was. Actually, I'm going to take it out of there. That's not good, okay? So I'm going to take it out. I'm going to just hold it off to the side there, and I'll hold this as we, as we go around the barrel. But you're going to grab your piece that you cut off, okay? You're going to put that into your yarn feeder, close the latch. You're going to hold both of those. Make sure that this doesn't get caught around on any needles as you're uh, rotating this, um, if, you, if your ball doesn't fit in the middle there, okay? And then we're going to do just one round. Okay, so now I can drop that, but I'm going to hold this, this tail so that I don't, um, so that I don't knit it, okay? It doesn't get in the way. I'll move it out of the way when I get to it, okay? There we go. So let me just get this out of the way. And I'm one row completed okay so now i'm going to open the latch and you know what that was the perfect amount to cut off because it's it's got the perfect amount of tail left there i'm going to open my latch put it between that last white and the first black then i'm going to bring this yarn end over that end that i just put in the center in the middle and i'm going to put it back into my feeder close the latch set my counter to zero okay and then i'm going to we need to have 20 rows for the body, but I'm going to do um, 12 rows now, 12 rows of this main color, and then we're gonna change colors, okay? So if you reset your counter, you go ahead and you knit 12 rows of your main body color, making sure that those little loops fall down over those red teeth before your needle picks it up, okay? Sometimes yarn gives us a little trouble, but this yarn is usually very good. All right, so go ahead, knit 12 rows. Do not cut your yarn end, but see me back when you got to 12 rows finished, okay? Okay, so I'm finished row 12. I'm gonna cut off that yarn, open my feeder, put it between the last white and the first black. Then I'm gonna change my colors because I wanna stripe in my little bunny body. So I'm gonna change my color. I'm gonna stick it in the yarn feeder in between those two. And then I'm going to hold both ends with my fingers and I'm gonna knit three or four needles. Then I'm gonna pull this tight and watch this one here. I wanna pull it tight till that goes underneath. And then I know that um, that first couple of stitches is not gonna be a looser tension than the rest of my project, okay? So then I'm gonna tie a knot to secure, cut it off. We're gonna knit four rows. So we're gonna knit row 13, 14, 15, and 16. And then when we get those four rows done come back and we'll switch colors again to the white okay so i finished row 16 i'm going to cut off that yarn end open the latch and do the same thing i did before except for i'm going to change now to my main color okay into that yarn feeder hold both of those ends do three or four needles then i'm going to take both ends of my working yarn tighten them up put a double knot here and we're going to knit four more rows, um, 17, 18, 19, and 20, okay? And then we're going to add waste yarn and cast off. So go ahead and knit four rows of um, your main color here, and then see me back. All right, so we've completed 20 rows for the body. We're going to cut off that yarn, and we're going to open up the latch, put it between the last white, the first black, and we're going to grab our waist yarn. So we want it in a contrasting color so that we can see our stitches very um, easily when we're closing it. So I'm going to grab my black and I'll be right with you. All right, so I'm going to put that into the yarn feeder. I'm going to hold those two ends. I'm not worried about the tension with this because it's just waist yarn. So I'm just going to go around. And I'm going to knit seven rows. maybe six because I don't think this is long enough one more okay so now I'm back to the starting point I'm going to open the latch I'm going to put that in between the last white the first black close the latch here and I'm going to crank my handle the second time around it will let loose okay just like that now you can take your piece out you've got this little um, pull string here that we're going to separate the body from the head 
Now, look at how beautiful that looks when you stretch it out. I'm just, I, I just can't ex um, stress how important it is to stretch your work when you take it off the machine, okay? Don't just go ahead and use it because it, um, without stretching it because it doesn't look as soft and it doesn't line up the stitches. Uh, the stitches aren't as soft and they're not lined up as nicely until you stretch them. So um, that little section here is so cute. So, all right, so you go ahead and um, put that aside with your head. And now we're going to go ahead and continue on. We're going to knit our arms. I'm going to go back to my main color and I'm going to do a long tail cast on, getting my white needle, last white and first black in line. I'm going to go behind and we're gonna do a long tail cast on again, okay? I'll do that quickly because I've already explained that. Okay, we've done our long tail cast um, on into the feeder, change our counter to zero and we're going to knit 10 rows. First row's catching some little yarn in, so that's okay. Once you get past the first row, it's easy. So go ahead and do 10 rows and then see me back. All right, so I've completed 10 rows. I'm gonna leave a little bit longer of a tail for sewing. I'm gonna open that latch. I'm gonna put it in between the last white, the first black, then I'm gonna add some waste yarn, okay? We need to have one flat edge on our, our, our arm. So we're gonna add our waist yarn. However many rows you're comfortable with, I'm gonna do about seven. Oops, got a knot in my waist yarn, of course. There we go, that was easy to take out. So go ahead and finish putting your waist yarn on. There we go, I'm going to um, complete my way around and do seven rows. And then when you're finished that, you're going to rotate your barrel twice to get your project off. And then you're going to do a second one exactly the same so that you have two arms for your little bunny. Okay, so go ahead and do that and I'll see you back. Okay, so we've got our inside head done. We've got our body done. And um, we've got two of our arms done. We'll save the ears for a, little, for a little bit later. Let's get busy assembling a little bit first and then we will um, put the ears on last, make the ears and put them on last. But let's get some of this out of the way, okay? So we're going to um, cinch the top. This is our inside head. I'm gonna cut this off. We don't need such a long um, piece of yarn there to, to finish this off. I'm going to reinforce this circle by going around just once and tying it off. You don't even need to go around fully. You just need to, you just need to secure it because this is inside the head, okay? And then tie a little knot and again. Okay, and then I just put that through the middle there and bring it through. Cut it off. And then we're going to pull on this other side, just like so. We're going to get our stuffing. And we're going to fill that little head with stuffing. That might be too much, but we'll see. <laughs> oh, such a cute little thing. Actually, it's not enough. I'm going to grab a little bit more. Okay, so let's put a tiny bit more in there. Just a little bit makes a big difference on a 10 row head. <laughs> okay, so little tiny bit more. <clears throat> Close that up and see what I think. I'm gonna actually put just a bit more. Not much more, but just a bit more. I don't want it really, really firm, but I don't want it um, too loose either that it doesn't keep its shape. So I'm gonna get that out of the way. I'm gonna go ahead now. Cut this off because I don't need it quite so long. Gets in my way. And I'm going to do the same thing I did to the other side. I'm going to take this end and I'm going to just sew it around to close this end, okay? So go ahead and do that and then see me back. All right, so we have our cute little head. Just like a little ball. Um, so cute, okay? These would be cute to make just for kids to chuck back and forth um, at each other and have fun <laughs> at each other. I'm not promoting any rough games or anything, but these soft and they would have fun <laughs> okay so now we're going to take our body we're going to work on the on the um end with the waist yarn first okay so grab yourself a couple stitch markers 
My favorite, of course, are the bobby pins. Where your black waist yarn or your colored waist yarn is coming out of whatever stitch that is, we're going to put a bobby pin in there. That's your first stitch, okay? Then you're going to take another bobby pin and you're going to go to the left of that and you'll see where your working yarn is coming out of this loop here. You're going to go right above it. If you pull on it, it's that, that um, stitch is attached to this working yarn, okay? So we're going to go into that one. So the one on the top. Okay, then we're going to take those two ends, make sure they're outside of your work so you don't sew them inside. Okay, and we're going to, we know this is a 22 needle machine, so halfway point would be 11 and 12, right? So we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is 11 and 12. This is our very far side, exactly half. Okay, so I'm going to put my hook under 12, pick up 11. And put it through the loop on my hook so i've just worked two stitches essentially one two then go down to the bottom three and up to the top four down to the bottom five pick it up and put it through the loop on your hook and go back and forth in like manner okay this is how you're going to close every end that uh, like on you on well this end and on your both arms you've got waist yarn on both your arms we're going to make um two ears and your ears will hit, will each have waist yarn on one end too and you're going to do this exact same thing to close off that end on all the pieces so basically you're going to do it five times once for the body two for the arms and two for the ears okay so um just a little heads up that uh this is what you're going to do because i won't repeat this for every um every limb <laughs> or every part because uh, it's not necessary. Okay, so then I'm gonna pull up on that last bobby pin because that one was a little hard to find. Put my hook underneath, pull it through. Now you wanna make sure that you've worked all 22 stitches or one of your rows will drop. If, if you've missed one of these stitches, then that row will drop, okay? So now that we've got them all worked, we're going to yarn over with that tail, pull it through and tighten it, okay? Now you can easily remove your waist yarn. And on this end, and on all the ends that we are making, it just pulls off very, very easily because we're putting it at the end of our project. Put that aside to use for another time. You can already see how cute this little guy's going to be. <laughs> okay, and then you're going to thread your needle and you're going to hide this in underneath there, okay? So we'll hide our end and then we'll work on the, on the top part. A very, very quick project. Um, took, takes a little longer to do the, the, the larger one, of course, because there's more stitches and it just, you know, that increases your time. But it's a fun, fun project to make. Here we go. So I'm going to hide that. And then I'm going to go through back the other way one more time, okay? Okay, so once you have that done, we're going to reach inside. And where we put that little... Um, extra piece of yarn that we worked in we're going to take that and we're going to pinch it at the bottom there and just pull pull lightly don't pull too hard but you're going to just pull on it and that gathers our neck and see all this extra that you have okay um, but then you turn it over and see if, if uh, you like how tight it is I want it much tighter than that so I'm gonna keep going and my head's gonna fit in there I think even a tiny bit tighter if I can okay so basically go as tight as it'll let you go um, because then that's that's uh, actually perfect. Okay, cut that off. Tie a little knot. I don't need it that long either. We're just going to tuck it inside so it's okay. Okay, and then you're going to just tuck that inside of there. And this is what our neck is going to look like. So you want to just move around those stitches just a little bit so that you have an even so it looks nice to you because our arms are going to go right centered on on these two sides here okay but it, it automatically goes there if you if you pinch like i did and pull then it keeps it fairly um even okay take your little head that you made and stuffed put it right in the center of that head and pull up give your yarn a little bit of a stretch or your your project a little bit of a stretch to to help it over then you're going to pull and help it over and pull. Don't pull so hard that you make the stitches look ugly, but you're going to just um, give it a gentle pull. Okay. And so then I'm going to 
cut this off again so it's not quite so long. Every time you pull, of course, your string gets longer, your yarn gets longer. I'm going to um, thread my needle. And I'm going to close up this end just like I did the inside layer, okay? So going around the circle here um, and reinforcing it, okay? So make sure you do a full circle on, on this one at least, okay? Just to give it some little, uh, you know, a little bit more of reinforcement. Okay, so go a couple stitches and then pull. Okay, and it closes up nicely, just like so, okay? Then I'm going to take and make a little knot. Just one strand is all I need to get under there. Go through, pull that knot down with my thumb, pinch it, kind of. Do another one. Then I'm going to put this needle into that hole, put it underneath the stuffing and out the back or front or side or wherever and just pull on it, okay? And then you can cut that off, throw that away. <laughs> and he's taking shape, isn't he? <laughs> So absolutely adorable. Okay, so now we're going to take our arms that we did. We're going to close off the bottom just like we did, um, like I explained to you on, on the base of the of the uh, body. Okay, so go ahead and close that off. And then we're going to make sure all your ends are out in the right sides. Then we're going to cinch this off. So you're going to close the one end, cinch the other. And when you cinch the other, you're going to go around and reinforce that as well. Don't cut this off because we're going to need it, okay? So go ahead, do both of those things, and then see me back. So I finished one arm, and I attached it just to show you. <laughs> you know, these things are so cute. Like, it fits in my palm. That's how small it is. It's so adorable. <laughs> okay, um, so now we closed off that one end. We cinched this end. What we're going to do is we're going to fold this up so that we've got our two sides together. I've got the wide V, the wide part of the V going to the left, okay, on both sides, okay. So um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just sew up the bottom. I'm going to just grab a couple stitches just like this and go through and just tighten that up a little bit more than what it was, okay. And then we're going to do the mattress stitch on this little tiny piece. So we're going to go into that one stitch on the bottom and go up Miss that one stitch and go up into the second one. Do the same thing on the other side. So essentially we're picking up two bars. Okay. Then where I came out, that's right here. I'm going to go into there. I'm going to pick up this bar and pick up this bar. So two of them. Okay. Then I'm going to pull that. Then I came out here. So I'm going to go in there. I'm going to pick up that bar and pick up that bar. And I'm going to pull that. And I'm going to do that all the way up, which is not very far. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so two there and two there. And I'm going to go up to the top here and here. And then I've got a seam down the side that looks like that. So I'm going to pinch the bottom. I'm going to pull on this. And that closes up that seam, okay? Just like that. And now we've got our little arm that looks like that. Now I'm going to just... I don't like this little piece that's sticking out here. I'm going to just tie off a little knot here. Not that it matters because it's going to be hidden, completely hidden, but I'm going to just make that tighter. Okay, so now what you're going to do is um, you're going to, for the bigger bunnies, I always fold it in half here and tie here and then go off to a side so that this is underneath. But this is so small, it doesn't matter. So if you've watched my my um, bigger bunny, uh, cuddle bunny video, then you're going to wonder why I didn't just do that. But um, instead, I'm going to fold it just in half with this end here. And we're going to just go underneath the stitches back and forth. Just pick up one strand. You only need to, about, to do about four or five. Okay, that was three. This is four. And this is five. And what we're going to do next is we're going to just pull on that. Okay. I want this little flat edge, straight edge here to be as... as um, to be shorter, smaller, okay? Um, and so now that that's done, I'm gonna just tie it off in a knot to hold that in place, just like that. Now we're ready to sew this little guy onto, onto our arm, or onto our body, but before I do that, now I'm gonna take it into the middle because I, I start my arms from the middle 
on every project that I do. Um, because then I know they're lined up, okay? So I've got that ready in the middle. I'm going to take my body. And we know that this side seam here is the middle. So I'm going to go up there and I'm going to just grab one little stitch. It's going to come out of my needle. One little stitch and I'm going to pull it up. And so it's perfectly centered because I started in the center, right? So then I'm going to go over top, grab just a little bit of, of the stitching here. I always go from the top down to the bottom, like the, from the upside here and come out the bottom, okay? Because it makes a nice finish. And then I'm going to just go over just a tiny little bit. Not a full stitch, but just a tiny little bit, okay? And I'm going to go back over to the top here. This is the third one I'm going to do. I'm going to pull that. I'm going to go in just slightly over. Just pick up one little strand there, okay? Go back in. Then now I'm going to come to the side here and I'm going to pick up the very side stitch actually. Not up here, but the very just the top side stitch because then it kind of rounds off the uh, the arm. Because then when I go in, I'm going to actually take it in now and I'm going to go over into the middle again. Okay. Oops. Don't let that circle around your arm. Come on, little guy. Get out of there. Okay, just like that. And then when I pull it, it's going to pull in on this on this uh, end so it, it doesn't have a sharp edge, okay? That's not looking very good, but trust me, it works. That's because I got this all tangled up. There we go. <laughs> uh, with these little guys, the strings just get in the way. Okay, so now I'm back to the center. So I'm going to pick up that next strand going the other direction. Pick up a little bit of just one little stitch there. Not a full row, just one little strand of yarn. And I'm going to continue in likewise manner. Two more stitches and get it done. And then hide, tie it off and hide it. Hide the end, okay? So go ahead and finish that and then we will do our ears. So isn't this little bunny just like so absolutely adorable? Like <laughs> it's so cute. Um, I have no words actually. So I am going to uh, now put my Addy 22 back on uh, my work table here. And we're going to make the ears. So get your your machine ready and let's uh, move on to the last section of our um, parts that we need. Okay. All right. So for the ears, we are going to do a long tail cast on. So we're going to bring our last white and our first black in line with our yarn feeder here. We're going to go behind that black in front of the next, behind and in front, all the way around until it's in front of that last white. Open your yarn feeder, pop it in there, Change your row counter to zero. This is becoming a bit of a <laughs> of a routine now, isn't it? Um, and we're going to knit 15 rows. Okay. There we go. So go ahead, knit 15 rows. Then what you're going to do is you're going to add waist yarn. As many rows as you're comfortable with. Again, I generally do seven or eight rows of waist yarn. And once you get your waist yarn on, you are going to rotate your handle, your barrel, twice, just like what we've done um, before, until your project comes off. Then you're going to make two of those, and you're going to seam up. I'm looking at my counter as I'm talking to you. That's why I'm pausing here, um, because I'm almost there, and I don't want to go past 15. So I'm watching this black thing come around, because I know that's my 15th row. Okay, so you're going to make two of these. Leave a bit of a tail for sewing up. Add your waist yarn at this point, do your seven or eight rows, then rotate your barrel twice, take off um, your project, stretch it out widthwise and lengthwise, then go ahead and make a second ear exactly the same. Then you're gonna take your crochet hook, you're gonna close up that end with a straight edge, just like we did with our arms and with the bottom of the body here, um, right here. Okay, you're gonna close that up and then um, you're going to cinch the other end and uh, once you have that other end cinched, um, I will meet you back and show you what I do. Okay? Alrighty. So here's my ear. Okay, one of them. I've got the other one put on already. <laughs> I got the other one put on. But what you're going to do is you're going to give it a good stretch. Um, but we're going to cinch on this cinched end. So I already closed this other end, obviously. Um, I'm going to just fold it in half like that. And then I'm just going to take the bottom 
stitches on both sides just like that and just tie a little knot okay we're not going to work the um, mattress stitch up the top, up the side like we did on the arms. We're just going to leave it like this. I'm going to take that yarn end and I'm going to hide it. I'm going to cut it off. Okay. And then because my work is on this side, I'm going to just flip it just like that. Okay. I want that little knot to be on the inside. Okay. And then I'm going to put the yarn on my needle from the other end. Now, if you, um, for this particular ear, I, I never had a long enough piece here, so I had to tie one on and then hide the one end, and then now I'm going to work with this one, okay? So what you're going to do um, is you're going to just go underneath one bar of each of these stitches, just like this. doesn't matter which side. Just go under them. And come out the very last corner here, just like that. And then you're going to take this and you're going to just gather it, okay? I just want to make a, a, a shorter edge. I don't want to have such a long. By doing this, I'm not gathering it into a circle. I'm just gathering it straight, just like that, okay? Um, and then I'm going to tie this off with a knot because that will hold that in place, okay? Just like that. And then I'm going to fold it in half, okay? So once I've done that, then I'm going to fold it in half and I'm going to secure it. Just like that. And then just like my arms, I start in the middle here. So I'm going to weave this into the middle. Tie another little knot just to secure it. Okay. And now I have my the shape of my ear made. Okay. And you can just give this a good stretch just to um, make it a little bit longer and looser. Then we're going to take our head. We're going to line it up with our arm there. Okay. And we're going to put it up really close to that hole. But to the center hole there but I've got just a tiny little space there and I'm gonna sew it on just the same way same technique as I did with my arms okay so you're gonna go into your head then you're gonna go from the top down to the bottom picking up a piece you only need like two or three stitches on each side here um, to, to make this secure and then I'm gonna go back into the head just pick up one little strand go back down into my ear Pull that to secure. Then pick up another little strand. This is the third stitch and that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to the corner here. I'm gonna pull that tight. Then I'm gonna give this a little turn so I can work on the other side. I'm gonna work this into the center here and then I'm gonna secure the other end, okay? And when I'm done that, then my ears are done. Now, what's, what you want, might want to do is, um is take a, a piece of yarn and just secure it down the ear down from in the middle inside here around the middle um to the head i I've, i did that with my um with my other bunny and i don't know if i'm gonna do it with this one or not i kind of like that they're floppy but that's just a, a a a um option for you if you want to um put just secure it down from the inside there just part way down so that they stay in the front like this then you go ahead and do that but i think once they're washed and they're played with these are going to be it's not going to be so stiff okay um it's stiff because it's brand new um so anyways that's an option but and i did it once but i'm not going to do it again so <laughs> maybe i shouldn't even have told you the option but i like to give you some choices <laughs> so okay go ahead and finish sewing on your ears and then we'll do the face and we will be done all right so for the nose I'm going to use pink yarn. I'm going to come up on the side here and I'm going to find where I think is the center, where I want my nose to be. I think I'm going to come up about maybe there. Okay. I'm going to pull that through. Then I'm going to um, go up just one row, but across one. And then I'm going. Actually, it's a half a row. How do I explain this to you? It's a half a row. So I'm coming out the tip here. Then if you go into this next space right um, beside it and then up one space and then over a full stitch. Okay, so there's two there's two um, bars there. That's a full stitch that I'm going under. Okay, then I'm going to pull that. We just need a tiny wee little nose. Don't need anything big. Okay, and then I'm going to go back into that point, back up to that top corner. 
Then I'm going to go over and connect that corner there and back into the point. Always come down to the point there. Okay. And pull that. And so that, see there, I've got my triangle. Perfect, tiny little triangle. I'm going to go on, on top of this bar. I'm not going to go underneath to fill it in because I don't like to see a bar there. I'm going to go on top and back into that little point. You only need like three or four stitches here, not even. Okay. And use my thumb to position that in place. And then I'm going to go up to the middle one here and down back into the point. And there we've got that. Okay, and one more. Back into the point. Oops, I don't want to get this all tangled. So there we go. I always use my thumbnail to, to guide it, okay? And that is a perfect little nose, okay? And then I'm just going to go down one stitch, back up into that point. Oops, I don't want to cross that over, so I'm going to put that needle underneath. Back into that point, and then one more time. Down to the bottom, and out the side of the head. Okay, that's my little nose. Oh, it's so cute, it's so cute. Okay, so now I'm going to tie these off. Let me get this needle down farther here. I'm going to cut these a little bit shorter. I'm going to tie a knot. Am I in the camera here? Yep, tie a knot. I've done this with you before, so you've seen anyways. Just a little knot. doesn't have to be really tight because you don't want to pull on your strings there. Then I'm going to go back into that same spot. Go under my stuffing and out in another spot, okay? And that will pull that knot in there. I'm gonna do it with the other one and get that out of there too, and then I'm gonna cut it off. And then you're gonna take your needle and just lift up on your stitches there and it will hide that end, okay? So go ahead and, and hide both of those. And then um, I'm gonna get my black yarn. See so how that's showing? I'm just gonna pick up the, the stitches and that hides it, okay? Just like so. I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. And then I'm going to find some black yarn and I'm going to um, get that ready for the eyes, okay? We are going to come up on the side again for the eyes and right on the corner here i'm going to just go up a little ways and come up to the point there okay following the um corner of my nose as my as my guide okay maybe over just a tiny wee bit and then i'm going to go into the space like that and i'm just going to come over one full stitch go back up Bring that down. I went down slightly, but not hardly at all. Okay. And then I'm going to come over where this point is here. I'm going to line it up to that other side. Okay. So I'm going to come out about there. Don't want to pull my eyes too tight. I want them to just be flush with the, with the, um, with the bunny, but not with the head, but not tight. You don't want to pull them tight. Okay. I'm going to just turn this back or upside down so I can see better what I'm doing. Okay. And then I'm going to just do the same thing. I have two. I just went across twice. So that's one. And this will be the second one. And I'm going to come out, go underneath the stuffing and come out where I went in. And there's my little bunny eyes, okay? Now again, like I said, you can tack these down if you want. Um, put a little bit of a, of, a, of a stitch in there or just wait until they're used a little bit because they play with it. Once you, t once you are done making it, and just play with it and it'll soften them up a little bit. Um, I don't know why I'm worrying about them because they're perfect actually, but <laughs> now you're gonna cut these off. You're gonna tie a knot and you're gonna hide them just like we, um, like we did the other one, okay? Our little bunny is done. He's so cute. And you know what? Um, I used a clover pom-pom maker, the smallest one, and I put a little pom-pom on the back. Um, that's what Lorraine did, and I think it was such a great idea. So 
again, Lorraine Beal, she's a member of my, um, she, she's a supporter of watching my channel and, and, uh, she's a member of my Facebook group and, um, she inspired me to make this and I asked for her permission if I could make a baby one. She, she does it a little bit different. This is an inspiration of her work. Um, she crochets the ears. If you want to uh, see hers with the crocheted ears, then go to my Facebook group and, and um, search Lorraine Beal and uh, look down and see her bunny. It's just like absolutely adorable. Okay, so this is what we've come up with. If you don't know how to use your clover pom-pom, if you have one and you don't know how to use it yet, then look for that video on my channel or make a little tiny pom-pom <laughs> Any way that you uh, know how to make it okay and add it to the to the back um, so this is our little baby um, cuddle bunny lovey and I just think it's priceless and precious so thank you again Lorraine for your inspiration um, I appreciate it so much and so will everybody else who makes this beautiful little bunny okay so you guys have a wonderful day don't forget to like Hit the like button, please, 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 because that's how YouTube moves my, my video. Um, and uh, also, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and come join my Facebook group. We would love to have you there. We have a wonderful time. It's such a great group of, of uh, crafters there. So um, thanks again, my friends. Um, look for the for the uh, adult, the, ba or the mummy of this on my channel, and make a set. So um, thanks again. Have a great day, and we'll see you soon.